All right, let's take a look at question one. In question one, we're going to be assessing the different ways to collect data, either census, uh, experiment, observation studies, or a sample survey. Question one reads, a sociologist reviews randomly selected surveillance videos from a public park over a period of several years and records the amount of time people spend on a smartphone. Question, the statistical procedure the sociologist used is called so what um, statistical procedure is this? So what we're going to do is we're going to go over these four different statistical procedures and see which one best represents what this um, sociologist used. The first one is a census. Now, what kind of statistical procedure is a census? A census is simply the list of individuals in a population. All right, so the list of individuals in a population al along with their characteristics like uh, their age or um, gender for example okay the list of um, individuals in the population with individual characteristics for example if this sociologist wanted to count the number of people in a particular city um, and then document their race and their age, stuff like that. That will be representative of a census um, statistical procedure. But in this particular case, this sociologist is looking at randomly selected videos, okay? Randomly selected surveillance videos, so definitely is not going to be all the people in a particular area. And then the sociologist is recording the amount of time so the sociologist is basically recording what he or she observed from the behavior of the people in the uh in the sample group all right so this is definitely not a census census just involves counting the number of people in the population and recording the individual characteristics like physical characteristics of those people all right so um, option one is not the statistical procedure that's being used here. Now let's move on to option two, an experiment. What kind of statistical procedure is an experiment? Well, an experiment is a situation where a sample group that is being studied is manipulated okay or influenced in some way. So an experiment is uh, a situation where a sample group a sample group being studied is manipulated or influenced in some way okay so let's say this individual had a select number of people in the park run around um, the track and then the sociologist records their um, heart rate okay that would be an experiment because this um, sociologist manipulated them by causing them to run okay so that altered their um, their heart rate so then this sociologist was then able to collect the data okay in this particular situation the sociologist just recorded the amount of time the individual spent on their cell phones. Was there any interaction between the sociologist and these individuals? The answer is no, because the sociologist is using a surveillance camera, videos from a surveillance camera. So there is no interaction whatsoever between the sociologist and the people being studied. All right. In order for an experiment to happen, not only is there interaction but there's also manipulation or being or they've been influenced in one way or the other so is option two what's going on here the answer is absolutely not this is not an experiment how about option three an observation study this ladies and gentlemen is definitely what's going on here okay when you have an observation study on um, the sample population uh, being studied is just measured as they are okay so a sample group a sample group um, being studied uh, 
um, as, are measured as they are, okay? Um, are measured as they are. So there is no manipulation or questioning whatsoever. For an observation, you just look look and record and that's exactly what's happening here the sociologist is just looking at the videos and just recording the amount of time people spend on their cell phones so the statistical procedure that the sociologist used in this particular scenario is an observation study okay so that's the answer well how about a sample survey what is that well a sample survey involves questioning okay so in a in a sample survey, a sample group, a sample group being studied the individuals are questioned or interviewed, okay? Questioned or interviewed. Is that what's going on here in this particular scenario? The answer is no, because you cannot interview someone by watching the video uh, of them, right? You can just only observe. So in this particular situation, we do not have a survey because the sociologist isn't asking these individuals any questions. It's not possible. There has to be some kind of uh, face backwards and forward communication between the sociologist and people in the sample group um, in order for a sample survey to take place. So we can clearly see that option four is not the answer. The correct answer is option number three because um, the sociologist is just observing the group that has been studied exactly as they are. Presentation really appreciated. We'd like to know what you think about this um, review tutorial. If you found it helpful in your preparation for the upcoming Regents exam, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, just post it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this review series. More complete uh, more re support resources can be found at mathcutserve.com on the New York Regents. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.